Hey, it's everybody's favorite hypocrite, Justin Trudeau. Here's a headline. Trudeau traveled 50,000 kilometers by plane in the last seven weeks to talk carbon emissions. Of course he did. That's as Trudeau as Trudeau gets. Now, I understand that prime ministers have to uh, fly. I understand that. It's just that when you never stop ramming the climate stuff down everybody's throats constantly, you might want to take a Zoom call every now and then. Let's see, of the 127,000 kilometers that Trudeau has flown since June, 50,000 kilometers of that took place in the last seven weeks. The Trudeau liberals have burned this fuel while promoting their plan to cap emissions on oil and gas by 40%. Now here's the truth. Justin Trudeau will never stop flying around on private jets. Justin Trudeau is going to do whatever the hell he wants and he's going to live a luxurious lifestyle forever. He's going to live a lifestyle and have the kind of consumption that the vast, vast, vast majority of people will never know. Justin Trudeau's carbon footprint is always going to be about, oh, a billion times more than yours. And that's because the Great Reset is not for Justin Trudeau, it's for you. He's a big fan of the Great Reset, by the way. We've heard him talking about it. You've heard of the Great Reset, haven't you? Here's a video from the uh, World Economic Forum to remind you. Yeah, uh, no thanks. In fact, the uh, champions of the Great Reset, the World Economic Forum, they have a big page here for Justin Trudeau. They love him. I mean, look at this. It goes on and on and on. I noticed that Boris Johnson has a page there too. They don't even mention that he's the Prime Minister of the UK. They haven't touched this thing in years. Justin Trudeau, they've got a big exciting page here. Uh, Canada's 23rd Prime Minister... Let's just go down to the end here. Uh, his team is focused on creating good middle-class jobs. Failed. Making life more affordable. <laughs> Boy, did he ever fail on that one. Uh, keeping Canada's community safe. Well, there's not much of a change there, so fair enough. Fighting climate change. Okay, let me break this to you. I'll have to break it to you gently. Uh, Canada has no power to change global climate whatsoever. There is nothing that Canada can do to change global climate. If Canada stopped producing oil tomorrow, not a drop less would be used. It would just become more expensive. Uh, but anyway, uh, and moving forward on reconciliation with Indigenous people. Yeah, that's not happening either. Oh, but here we go. A proud feminist. <laughs> a proud feminist. Justin appointed Canada's first gender-balanced cabinet. And boy, has that ever gone great. So, I don't know, you might have noticed the trend with Trudeau that nothing he says is real. Let's see, anyway, this all comes as uh, the Prime Minister has recently ramped up his climate rhetoric, announcing in April that his government was aiming to reduce emissions by 40 to 45% of 2005's levels. But don't worry, don't worry. Justin will always still be able to fly off to Davos for his World Economic Forum meetings. Let's see, quote, Climate change knows no borders, and we cannot tackle it alone. Over the next two days, I will be meeting virtually with President Biden and other leaders from around the world for the Leaders' Summit on Climate. The summit is an important opportunity to discuss the urgent need and economic benefits of stronger climate action. Well, you know, he didn't mention anything about truckers, or he didn't call anybody racist in that, so, you know, that's, a, that's an improvement. So I guess the point is, is that the Great Reset, all of these climate plans, they're for you. They're not for Trudeau. They're not for people like Trudeau. Trudeau dreams of a day when you can't drive and when you can't fly and when you're not able to have a nice steak. He'll be doing whatever the hell he wants, just like he is right now. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the audio-only version. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.